God Almighty, El Shaddai. You hear those words. And it brings to mind for me the, you know, the song El Shaddai, of course. Uh, in my mind, it often goes back to Martin Luther King Jr. as he had his famous I Have a Dream speech. And, and he says, thank God Almighty, we are free at last. And that is the song that people will be singing because people are free and there's equality. Martin Luther King had this incredible dream, this vision that he was trusting the Lord to bring about in our country of incredible change. Every day there are things that we need to trust to the Lord. And every day there are things that we're probably tempted not to. Sometimes those are harder than others. I look at Psalm 91, the very first verse. He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will abide in the shadow of the Almighty. Abide. Live in. Find life in the shadow of the Almighty. Find your life in God. And that doesn't work if you're not trusting in Almighty God. If you don't believe that God is Almighty and can and will do amazing things. I've seen tragedy in my life. Certainly people have seen far more, and I've, I've shared a lot of these things at different times. I've had three miscarriages, and I've lost now, I'm 40 years old, and I've lost two of my sisters way younger than they should go, and I miss them. And in those times, it's not like we weren't praying. It's not like we weren't trusting the Lord to do good things, to that he could do miraculous things. But it didn't work out the way that we had hoped or the way that we had prayed all of those times. And that hurts. And quite frankly, it's called to mind some questions about how do we pray? What do we pray for? What's that supposed to be? And then I look at this passage and I see those times when I don't rest, when I'm not trusting the Lord. I don't know that I ever doubt that he's almighty. But sometimes I have trouble resting in that. Trusting his infinite wisdom that that his plans are best for this world. Trouble looking past today, past what my experience is here in this world, here in this life, and forward to eternity, the things that really matter. My hope for us, I've talked about this, uh, that I'm meditating on, I've talked about this in I think other videos, is from Ephesians 3.20, that God is able to do immeasurably more than we can ask or imagine. He is almighty. And so one of the things I've learned through tragedy and through triumph is that God is trustworthy, that he is good, that he wants the best for me, for this world eternally. And so as I look to the eternal, take my mind off of the temporal, I can rest in the shadow of the Almighty, and it is good rest.